hello everyone welcome back to our youtube channel agri addict so as you all know for this icr pg and phd entrance exams the correction window for the application is open from 13th of may to 15th of may so during this period what are all the changes that you can make and what are the what are all the corrections that you can do that will be explained in this video so first of all how to open the correction window just follow my link i will be providing the link in the description box otherwise as you can all see the link is available here it is exam.nta.ac.in bar icr slash icr so search for it and this is the window that will be open from here based on whether you're applying for the pg or the phd entrance exam just click on the above options now i'll be going through the pg option i'll just click on the correction window So once this is open just enter your password and the application number that you have retrieved and please make sure to remember your application id and password since it will be required for checking your results too okay so once this is open you will get to see your option of edit application form so if you want to make any changes in your application form you can click on this edit application and please remember if you have no changes to make you need not to worry you need not to log in and check even if you can check if you don't make any changes that's fine so whatever that is entered previously it will be taken by default but in case if you want to make any changes you have to log in to this website and click on this edit application form and make the necessary changes so it starts from the contact details so if you want to change anything from your present address and the permanent address you can do it here and remember that you this uh, this doesn't matter with the upper center like whichever center that you have given the priority you will be getting that center irrespective of which address that you are giving here so do not worry about the present and the permanent address you can give your exact address so once the address is done then go for next step see uh, while making changes it's like if you make any changes in this permanent and the present address you need to enter the captcha and you have to click on save and next but if you ha have no changes to make you can just simply click on the personal details and go to the next page without entering the captcha and saving it next it's about personal details just check your name date of birth father name gender nationality domicile and whether you belong to the privileged states or not just check it whether it is yes or no and your category and identity type so by default while going for selections uh, your identity type might be erased so you can just click on the identity type and click on whatever identity that you have given and you can enter the identification number again And since you are making some changes here, you have to enter the captcha and click on save. So next application is exam center details. So based on whichever center that you have given, so you have to see the centers are correct or not. So we are, you have given the priority or not just check it once it is done so if you want to make any changes here you can do it so by default major subjects group is missing so i will be entering my major subject group again so once i have made some changes i will just again enter the captcha and click on save and next so i just click on i agree and then save and next okay now it's about the qualification details so in the qualification details just enter the correct details as per your marks or everything and then just check whether the details that you have entered is correct or not or if you want to make any changes in terms of marks roll number board name and status the year of passing just do it here so once it is done please check it and also there are a lot of students who are worried about the appearing and past see if you have the pdc already then you can go for past but if you are still in your last sem of your bsc agriculture just click on appearing and year of passing would be 2024 and the duration is 10 plus 2 plus 4 for most of you if it is 10 plus 2 plus 3 you can enter the same 
so once this is done if you have made any changes in this page then you can click for captcha agree and save and next but if you have not made any changes you can simply skip this part but since students are so much worried about this particular page where some of you might have given appeared or some of you might have given past year so based on the actual conditions whether you have passed or not so if you are still in your last sem just go for appearing do not get confused in this next in the next page it's about unemployment uh, status it's unemployed uh, by default it is correct so i'll just go to the next page so here you have a clear cut option of uploading the files so it's photo signature thumb impression and the category certificate see category certificate will be only asked if you are opting for any option other than general so if you are opting for general there will be no category certificate that will be asked and if you are giving any other options like sc st ews obc so you have to upload the category certificate and in this category certificate there are been lot of confusion so students are asking us in the numerous times like what should we upload here whether we should be uploading the obc ncl in case of obc or we should be uploading any state certificate so please make note so category certificate it should be like if you are from obc you have to upload the obc ncl certificate and the language should be either in english or hindi and the prescribed format for this certificate is available in the brochure please check the brochure for the prescribed format and upload the file with the prescribed format only and there is one problem here like many students the category certificate is not at ready and they have applied it now so now we they are worried like what to do here so like there is nothing that you can do and only one alternative is you have you can upload the old certificate now and after the results before the icr counseling there is again option of uploading the category certificate that will be verified by then you can be prepared and go for the real one but i'm i may not be 100% sure whether this will work or not but this is what the most of the students do and this is how it has worked for others in the previous year so you can follow it if you don't have the certificate because you don't have any other options so you can go for it so this is one alternative that you can follow so once if you want to make any changes in this particular window you can do it and you can click on save and next and also regarding the photo so many of you are worried about like whether the date should be included here or not so there is no prescribed format that date should be included only thing is it should have some plain white background the photo should have plain white background and the photo should be of recent one so these two things are necessary just follow them and you can click on save and next so once all of this is done so make sure that all of your details will be available in this window so make sure that details are correct just check them once again once everything is checked you can scroll down till the end and you can click on final submit so while clicking on final submit you have to tick out tick in all of these boxes after checking your details like you have you have to check your name father name mother name date of birth examination city centers gender date of uh, category certificate category so if you check all of this ones if you have checked all of this ones you can click on final submit so now the my application is finally submitted so you can again download the application if you have made any changes here so if you have not made any changes no need to download the application again so you can keep as it is but if you have made any changes make sure to download the application so once it is done this is done that's it so just to clarify this thing what are the required documents see now because many of you were not knowing about the category category certificate that you should be having it right now many of you are not prepared for this but let me tell you after your exams so your pdc like if not can the complete mark sheet your pdc should be with you and the deadline for the submission of the mask card will be given by either icr or the respective college with to which you will be going to be allotted and during icr counseling you should be having your study certificate 
and you should be having your pdc and also you should be having your domicile certificate that is like to which state you belong to that that certificate is called as domicile certificate and also you should be having your category certificate so these are the some important documents that you should be having if you are going for icr counseling once after successful result uh, declaration of the results so if you have any other queries related to the correction window or the application or in case of what documents you are you required for the icr counseling you can comment on the chat box and if you have not subscribed our youtube channel do subscribe it so i have already posted the required documents for the icr counseling in the previous year so you can just go back and watch the complete playlist and you can get to know about the things and be prepared for whatever is required okay i hope like you people are preparing well for your exams so prepare well and give your best shot and since approx like 45 days is left for your exams so if you are looking for a clear and concise guidance from agreedict you can opt for our online master course that is available for four major subjects starting with agronomy physical science plant science and entomology and the complete mock test bundles are available for six different subjects including these four major and other two which are social science and horticulture so you can go for this opting this mock test bundle which includes the topic wise mock test subject wise mock test full syllabus mock test general agriculture and the current affairs and this mock test is available for just 299 with 30 to 40 plus mock tests which are available which you can attempt two times till the day of your exams and also like we have given the full length schedule mock test for all the different subjects so that you can go for so if you have any queries regarding the mock test bundles or about the master codes you can contact us uh, through the community that is available in the website and also like if you are preparing for 2025 exams all our 2025 courses have been launched and there is 1000 rupees off for the first 50 students of the rest for the all the respective subjects so you can go and avail the offer immediately so thank you so much for watching so see you in the next video